so here's a weird thing. I've got a row with a container. My container has a width and height of 100 pixels. And if I go into the alignment property of my container and I set the horizontal, the left to right alignment to zero, um, what? The container jumps down to the middle of the page. In this video, we're gonna explain why this happens. And in the process, I'm gonna give you a tool for really helping you understand layout in Flutterflow that's gonna help you with all your designs. All right, so let's get rid of this horizontal alignment and let's get specific about what the problem is, like what's non-intuitive about this so that we can get a better handle on the solution. So when we set this horizontal alignment to zero, there are really two things that are happening that we need to figure out. First, it's not horizontally aligned. Like we might think that it should be aligned in the center, left to right, right? That's what horizontal alignment means. So that's the first strange thing. The second strange thing is our container jumping down to the middle of the page. But really, to be more precise, the thing that we need to figure out is why our row all of a sudden became full height. Because before, if we take this off, we can see that our row is only as tall as our container. But for some reason, when we set this to zero, it becomes full height. So why is that? Well, to understand these two things, that is why the alignment doesn't seem to be working and why our row is all of a sudden full height, we need to understand one of the fundamental principles of layout in Flutter, and that is, that constraints go down, sizes go up, and parent sets the position. So what does that mean? Well, it means that first, going up and going down means going up and down in your widget tree. So going down would go from row to container, and if container had any children. Going up is the opposite, moving from your container up to your row. So it says that constraints go down. The constraints would be things like max width or max height. So those things go down. So if your row, now it doesn't have this, but if your row had a max width, all of the children would have to obey that. That constraint goes down to the children. So then the children's max width would be that of the parent. Then we have sizes go up. So that means the size of our container right here, it's set to 100 by 100, goes up. And this makes sense when we didn't have any alignment set right here because the height of the row, the parent, is determined by the height of the child. The size goes up. Now you might be wondering, well, what about this width? Well, the size goes up as long as there's not something else in the parent determining those things. Okay, and then finally, the parent sets the position. That is, things have constraints, their max width, their height, their size that they're set to, but also where that sized thing is inside its parent. So you think about our row right here, and we have all of these alignment properties. And so you can set it to start or middle or end. And so the parent, the row, sets the position of the child here, the container. Okay, so how does that help us with our two problems? Well, let's take that second question first. Like why does the row get so big when you set the alignment property? Well, we can figure this out with that second principle because we're wondering about the size of the row, namely the height. And if it goes up, then we need to ask about the children of this row and figure out where is the height coming from the children? So we say, okay, so we've got one child here, a container. We've got a height of 100, so that doesn't make sense, right? Yes, that's true, but there's actually another widget in here that we don't see in the widget tree, and that's coming from this alignment property. So if we go into our code view right here, we can see, and just click on that row, we can see our row widget right here, and our container widget right here. And then in between, we've got this align widget. This is what happens when you set that alignment property. It wraps the container in an align widget. Okay, so we're getting closer because we know that the height of the container 
is not making its parent, our row, full height, then it must be coming from this align widget. Okay, but we don't see any type of height property on this align widget, so where is it coming from? Well, if you jump over into the Flutter documentation where, and here we're in the align class, and if you read down, you can see that it says, this widget will be as big as possible. Ah, okay, so here's our answer. Now, it goes on to say, if the dimensions are constrained, and that just means when we've set it. This is the constraint coming down from a parent. In our case, it's coming down from the scaffold, the top widget, and that's why we're getting a full page height, but we'll talk about that later. So the align widget is as big as possible. So that's where it's coming from. Once we set this, then it wants to fill all the space possible. Okay, now that makes sense, right? But why does it just fill the screen right here? Well, that's coming from the Flutter framework. Well, it's coming from the Flutter framework through the scaffold right here. That's gonna figure out on whichever device your Flutter app is shipped on, how much screen space do you have? And then that will be the constraint, remember our rule, constraints go down, that'll be the constraint coming from our scaffold, this home page right here. So now we know the size goes up from the align widget right here, because it's expanding all the space. All right, so what about our other problem? Why didn't this actually do any horizontal alignment? Well, if we look back at our rules right here, we can see that the parent sets the position and on our row widget, we have a positioning property, this alignment down here. And the alignment is set to start. And of course we can change this. Now, I wanted to show you this, not just so you can figure out a sort of strange activity, but to give you a principle for troubleshooting your layouts in Flutterflow. That is, first, if there are strange size things going on in your app, you wanna look down in the widget tree because size goes up. That's why we are wondering about the size of our row and we went down into the widget tree to figure out where is that size coming from? And second, if you find something weird or that's not working out with your positioning or alignment, look up because the parent will set the position. So here, our container is not obeying the horizontal alignment because when we look up, we see that's being set by a parent. I hope this helps you with your Flutter Flow layouts. If you're having any trouble, please leave a comment below, or if you have an idea for a video you'd like us to cover, leave it in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.